Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading for what do they want from you in love. This is for the week of June 13th. So we're going to start with the Mythic Tarot. If needed, clarify with the Silver Witch Tarot. And then we're going to get your Oracle cards. So, what does Virgo's person, the person they came here for, what do they want from them? Okay, that card's not going back. Okay, let's see. What do they want from them? Can we get another card for Virgo? So what does their person want from them in love? What do they want from them? Okay. <laughs> okay, there is a running theme in most of the readings so far, if not all. Ten of Pentacles. I think you can see what they want from you, right? They want to make a family with you. Now, if you're of childbearing years or in that age group and you want to have kids, this person wants to have kids too. If you're not, they may just want to blend families and create a family. Judgment card. They want you to make a decision. Get up. Apparently, you are getting dusty. This is apparently a relationship that's been around for a while. Whether it's been, um, you know, in the same form, I don't know. But with these three corpses here coming up, these mummies, I would say that this person is like, you know, enough is enough, you know, let's do something. And there we go, Eight of Pentacles. What do they want from you? They want you to work together with them. They want you to decide to make a, a future with them. It, it just says the same thing over it, that they want a decision. Oh, golly gee. I'm going to see if we can clarify further for you, Virgo. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I'm complaining, but I, I, I'm, it's very strange how I keep getting the same message and very similar cards. So let's see. Tell us more Silver Witchcraft Tarot for Virgo for what their person wants from them. Okay. One card came out. Oh, could be dealing with a Gemini, the lovers. Look at that. Now, this card, remember, this is the what deck that the binding together is done visually with the ribbon, like a, a commitment ceremony. So, let's see. You want to tell them anything else for Virgo? Yes, for Virgo. Yeah, we're not getting anything else. So, that's the message from the tarot cards. And we're going to get some more clarity with the Oracle cards. And I did things a little differently. I pre-shuffled with the intention that the next card would be, you know, for Aries and Taurus and, and, and so on. So I did it with the Romance Angels, the Gilded Reverie, and with the Keeper of the Light Oracle cards. So for Virgo, tell us more about what their person wants. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they want to go places with you. They want to do things with you. And let's see, what are we? Yeah. They just want to do things with you. They want to travel with you because that's definitely, I mean, they're in Venice. So they want to do things with you. And look at this. <laughs> this is the Gilded Reverie. This is the magnifying glass. It's card number 44, which in the traditional Lenormand deck does not even exist. Here is the little book. And let's see, so it's called the Expanded Edition. I'm only gonna read the italicized portion of what's in here, otherwise it would take quite a while. So we have the magnifying glass. I am the card that suggests you to take a closer look or two. If you did not get clarity from an earlier view, I can provide more focus and perspective that is new. So it wants you to look things closer, you know, maybe, Maybe you've been looking at this the wrong way, or maybe you need to notice something, you know. If this person, if this is what they're looking for from you, and you haven't done it yet, I mean, there were three mummies all coming out of their coffins, you know, why aren't you pulling the trigger? Because maybe, you know, to me, it doesn't really matter what the other person wants in reality. That sounds horrible, I know. But the reality is, is what do you want? 
and they want a decision. So to me, with the magnifying glass, it's kind of like saying, you know, do you want to pull the trigger or do you not? And if you don't, then end this and move on. You know, there is a full moon coming up and you know what that means. Endings, beginnings, you know, things change. That Keeper of the Light Oracle card for Virgo. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Angel, stand close, surrender your concerns, and allow a miracle to occur. Well, that to me, when it talks about surrendering, I always think of that as if you sat quietly someplace. Call it meditation, call it your quiet time, call it whatever you want. But if you sat there quietly and just let your mind wander, see what comes to mind. If you want to talk about the relationship, I would put that in your head for a second. You know, how do I feel about Jane? How do I feel about John? Whoever the person is. And just really stop and think. And think of what, what are the first words that come to your mind? What's the feeling your body has? Does your body, you know, do you feel happy? Do you feel like, ugh? You know, depending on how you feel would help me determine, if I were in your shoes, what to do from here. So, good luck, Virgo. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Remember that engagement with the channel helps it grow, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.